What do you do if your tenant is late on rent? That's the topic of today's show. Let's dive in. Hey, real estate investors, welcome to another episode of the Ask James Wise Show here on Holton Wise TV. This is your show. This is the show where we are here answering your questions. As always, I'm your host, James Wise. That is my man, Tommy, who will be cutting up the footage for you in case I screw something up. Now, today's question. What do you do if your tenant is late on rent? This is a question that we get from landlords all the time, more specifically those brand new landlords out there. And the number one thing you need to do is you need to immediately enact a zero tolerance policy for late rent. What that means is you need to set a specific date every single month that if the tenant does not pay by that date, you begin your eviction process. No questions asked. I do not care if your tenant lost their job, if your tenant got sick, if grandma got sick, if their car broke down. All of that is irrelevant. You cannot train your tenants to believe that rent is not the very first thing they need to pay. If you train them to believe that rent is not the number one priority, they will pay their other bills first. They will pay their phone bill first. They will pay for groceries first. They will go out to eat. They will drink beer. They will buy cigarettes. They will buy shoes. They will do all of that. They need to know that the roof over their head is the first bill. And you will only be able to do that by making sure there is clear consequences if they do not pay that rent. So what we do here at Holton Wise is we do it on or about the 15th of every single month. You need to set a specific date. The only reason I say on or about is because here at Holton Wise, you know, we have a very large business, so we are closed. Our management offices are closed on the weekends or holidays. So if the 15th falls on a Sunday or it's some type of a holiday, we'll just do it the very next day. So we have that specific expectation set no matter what any reason whatsoever that the complete rent is not paid we begin that eviction process in ohio that starts with posting a three-day notice on the tenant's door if after that three-day notice is expired they have not paid in full that's it we file no questions asked we will not accept anything after that and a pro tip for you guys out there now this is going to vary based on the municipality you live in but partial rents do not work with your tenants folks do not try to work with them do not be like oh my tenant said he could pay me half today and then half next week do not do that typically when you go in front of a magistrate and you've collected a partial rent for that rental period you are not allowed to evict that tenant for that particular period. So if your tenant's rent is $1,000 a month, it's due January 1st. Sometime in January, you accepted $500. They stiffed you on the rest. If you try to go to court and evict them for not paying you all of their January rent, the judge will typically throw that out and you got to start all over. So obviously you're going to lose a ton of money. Another thing is I see a lot of people just trying to push it back, push it back, push it back because they're afraid to spend the money or afraid to go stand up in front of the judge. Evictions are your friend. Do not be afraid of this. If you're afraid to do it on your own, that's totally understandable. Hire an attorney, hire a property manager, the only thing you cannot do is try to work with these folks. If they've missed one rent payment or they're trying to get you to work with them, they, you give them an inch, they are going to take a mile. They are just manipulating you. There are professional tenants out there who target landlords who don't understand the game so they can go in and manipulate them. For more on this topic, a couple resources that we have for you. Number one, I made a video about the 10 red flags that you need to look at when you're screening for your tenants. That's in the show notes below. Make sure you check that out so you don't end up with one of those professional tenants who's going to purposely try to manipulate you. And the second resource I have for you is a few of our live eviction videos. If you're one of those folks out there who's totally afraid of evictions because you don't understand what it's like, well, we, when we evict folks, oftentimes we send our film crew in there and we show you guys what the entire process looks like. So that's also going to be in the show notes below. 
Anybody else out there who's watching this show, if you have any other questions about the eviction process, tenant screening, or anything like that, just drop those questions in the show notes below. As I said earlier, this is the show where we are here to answer all of your questions to make you a better real estate investor, no matter what market you're interested in. And if you're interested in becoming a real estate investor in the Cleveland market or in any of the markets that any of our other turnkey partners are operating in, go ahead and click the button in the show notes below to sign up for our mailing list and we will send you investment opportunities every single day to allow you to work with a professional investment company and we will handle a lot of that dirty work for you. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. <laughs>